Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us discuss about custom permissions. So the first thing we need to do is, if you remember in the previous lecture, if I am using any type of permission, I am trying to import it. So if I am going to create my custom permission, I need to store it somewhere and then I need to import it. So for that, I am going to create a new file inside my API folder. To solve this problem, this is my API folder. Inside this, I'm going to create a new file where currently my serializer or URL or views are there. So let me create this new file and I'm going to call this as permissions.py. Now inside this, we are going to do all our tasks, all our custom permission, and then we will be importing them here. So the first thing I need to do is from my rest framework, I need to import permissions. Yeah, that's done. Now here I can create my custom permission. So the first thing is let's create a custom permission just for the base example. So we don't have to do anything right now. That is too complicated. We just need to understand these both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test if a user is admin, he can edit anything Otherwise it's read only. Yeah, that will be much better. So if a user is admin, then he can read. Otherwise, if any other user is accessing, if any non user is accessing, it is going to be read only. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create a class. I'm going to call this as admin or read only. Yeah. Now inside this, I need to import my permissions. Yeah, permissions dot and then here I can use either is admin user, I can use base permissions and lot other. So for now I recommend to jump here, click on your permission class and you will get an idea that you can use either base permission to have some information. You can either use is admin to have some permission. The best thing you can do right now is just jump here, click on this permissions dot pi and this will give you better idea. So let me search. Here you can see we have a class called is admin user. Now this class is pretty important. With the help of this class, we can allow access only to admin user. You can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this. Remember this is inside our permissions.py. So we can utilize it. Let me copy this one and I'm going to import it here. Now here we need to define the type of permission. So if you jump here and if you click on custom permission, we have these two option. Now what is this? Now when we use this has object permission, we are specifically testing, we are specifically checking a particular object. So talk about review editing. So the individual review object can be edited by its own owner. At that point of time, we need to use has object permission. Otherwise, we are going to use has permission. So we are just generally checking if the user has permission to read or anything else. If I jump back here, I'm going to use method called has permission and it is going to take myself and then I need to pass request and then view. If I jump here again, uh, it's self request and view. Now this is pretty important to know that we need to return either true or false. So if we are returning true, that means they have permission. If we are returning false, that means they don't have permission. Now what my aim is, if the user is admin, then I need to return true. If the user is not an admin, then I need to return false. Since I'm using is admin, I can directly check that. As I discussed right now, I'm using this is admin. I can call this has function. It will return true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the admin permission. And I'm going to call the super has permission. super dot has permission and this is going to take a request as well as view. Yeah, this looks fine. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the is admin has permission because this is going to test if the user is admin or not. So they are testing uh, request.user and request.user is staff. You can do this directly here. It is going to work fine. Since we have the source code, we can test directly here. So if the both condition are true, if we have a logged in user, if we have a user and the user is is underscore staff is true. So that means we are going to get a true. We have a permission about admin. The next thing is to return. So this is only about admin. Otherwise we are going to check out which permission they are trying to access. So I'm going to test their method uh, here instead of using get. Yep. I'm testing if the request is get or they have the admin permission. This looks fine. Let me try to import it here. So this is a custom import. So I'm going to import it here from uh, my watch app, then API, then I'm going to use my permission import. And this is going to be admin or read only. Let me try this here. This is review detail. Uh, let me refresh. Okay, I did a spelling mistake. I need to improve it. This looks fine. Let me get back. Refresh this one again. You can see I'm able to access it, but only for get. But if I try to log in as John right now, I'm still not able to edit it. Why? Because only admin can edit it. Okay, let me try to log in as Shubham. Yep, now I have option to edit as well as delete this. So that's how we are going to add a custom permission. What I did is here I just check if the user currently have permission as admin or not. Remember this line is pretty important and here we are also testing if our user has admin status that is is staff status. That's all. That's the only thing you need. Now let us add the major custom permission that we really want. So at currently you see anyone can access this page. That means admin can access this page. What I want is if we are logged in as review owner, we should have these option. Otherwise it should be a get request. So that means let me create a new class. Review user or read only. Yeah, I need something like this. And this time we are going to use base permission. So if the user is review owner, then we are going to give him the permission to edit. Otherwise it is going to be read only. If you jump here, uh, this will help you to understand more about these conditions. Now the safe method means get request if you jump here and the unsafe method will be post delete put. Uh, we don't want anyone to access them. Uh, only a specific user is only allowed to perform these tasks. Otherwise, if our API is free without any permission, anyone can send requests to our database directly. That is why we are using these permissions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize this has object permission because I'm accessing a individual object that is object number three and then checking if the user is Shubham or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this has object permission. Inside this, let me create a method. Now here I need to first test if this is a safe method or not. So if you check out this line, this safe method, I'm going to copy this one and correct all the indentation. Now here, this will give you a better idea. Check permission for read only request, check permission for write request. So that means if the request that we are getting is safe here, the request is get that means they are only accessing data. What I'm going to return is true. Now here, if the request is not get, that means they are trying to send a post request, put request, or maybe a delete request. 
at that point of time what i am going to do is i am going to compare them i am going to check if the user is equals to the review author so here i am going to use return and i am going to compare the object let me select the object and then i am going to select the review user so the person who has written review is equals to the current logged in user so this is the current logged in user and here we have this object so if i am checking this object 3 so object 3 dot review user is equals to shubham and then we have request dot user which is shubham is going to be this and here we are returning true i hope you got the idea so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this one import it here at the top and scroll down a bit and add this class here let me jump back refresh i did some mistake okay there is some mistake at the top while importing okay i added it here i should add this particular line uh, let me remove this one since this is a custom review i need to add it here remember i need to import it from my permissions file save this one get back here and then refresh this one okay currently i'm logged in as shubham i'm able to edit this i have this option but if i log out try to log in again as john You can see I only have option for get request. So I hope you got the understanding about this particular thing. This, this is pretty important. We can do something similar on the top. So if I get here, I can directly add this type of permission here. So if the request is in permission, that is safe method. Now request.method is get if this is the case because safe method means get. So if the request dot method is get, then we can directly return true. That's it. And otherwise we are going to test all the other thing. So we can add our own condition. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return this, which is true because if we are accessing get request, then it's okay. Okay. They can send this request. But if they are trying to access the post request or any type of other request, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this condition if this is admin or not. And that's it. That's done for this particular part. I hope you got the idea and remember I need to return it. Yeah. So that's all we are doing. If the request is get, then okay, we are accepting their request. If the request is not get, then we are testing if the user is admin or not. That's all. And I hope you get an idea what we are trying to do. Make sure you read about this. This is going to be really helpful for you uh, in terms of creating custom permission. That's all for this video. We can do a lot of thing inside this part, but I think this is enough for now. Let us add more complications through authentication. And then we will talk about this again. I hope this lecture was helpful. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.